Hello and welcome to This Is Xbox. Yep. You all, we all know. know. We all know you Xbox. You all know that I used to be an Xbox thought, but now I am an X thought. What are the I words coming out of your mouth right now? I have held my tongue long enough on the hardware situation. You mean this brand new two terabyte limited edition Xbox Series X? Scoff! You mean the right. brand new digital version that has completely jettisoned the disk drive, painted itself in robot white, and dropped $50 from the price? Is that not enough for you, Matt? That's okay, but not great still. This is just such a weird generation of consoles. Disappointing, exciting, unusual. What do you mean by weird? All of them. I was so excited for this generation. Of, of course. Gaming. I was excited at first because of mainly SSD speeds. To me, that was such a bigger upgrade than anything else that we've seen. I completely agree. In fact, I was playing a PS3 the other day and I was surprised not by the graphics, which to your point, yeah. I'm like, oh, this looks totally fine. Yeah. But by how long everything took, you took, get used to yeah. it so fast. And then this is just such, been such a weird, like, you know, Xbox comes out with two models and then they're like, you know what? We have a new model coming out. And then all they did was just spill paint on it. Okay, this now is, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Say, so like they say like this is a special edition. This is the least special edition. That's rude, This Matt. is the Austin Evans of special edition. What is that supposed to mean? That you're not special. <laughs> this is rude. Thank you to Bombas for sponsoring today's video. The weather is finally cooling down, but are you are? Eat ready? Bombas has the perfect answer to fall and winter with their new cozy collection. They've got ribbed cashmere merino wool blend, like a comfy sweater for your feet. Or you could try their fuzzy socks. It's like a warm plush blanket inside and out. Out trekking in your boots. Well, you can try their heavy duty chunky boot socks. And they've even got slippers, which help me go from a slippy boy to a slipper man. With the holidays approaching ever closer, why not knock out your gift list early? And hey, you deserve a good gift for yourself as well. And when you give Bombas this holiday season, Bombas gives back to the community. Did you know that socks, underwear, and t-shirts are the most requested items at a homeless shelter? Well, for every item that you buy, Bombas donates a matching item to people in need. Thanks to customers like you, Bombas has been able to donate over 10 million items, which is pretty great. New customers get 20% off your first purchase. Just go to bombas.com slash this is and use the code this is 20 to get 20% off your first purchase. And thank you again to Bombas for sponsoring this episode of this is. So the Xbox lineup, if you're unfamiliar for 2024 and going into next year, has been sort of redone a little bit. There's a couple of key things to know. One of which is the color of the Xbox now actually tells you if it's got a disc drive or not. So the Xbox Series That's S now great. only comes in white. The Series X all digital, that is also in white and it doesn't have the disc drive. But then the one terabyte and two terabyte are in black. Visually, going forward, if the Xbox is black and has a disc drive, if it's white, it doesn't. Cool, whatever. Do you like a, a mnemonic like Xbox is white, no disc tonight? Xbox is black. You spent money on stuff that you shouldn't have bought. That's whack. But hang on, but there's a little bit more to it than that, right? This model has two terabyte SSD, mm -hmm. which is a nice thing to have. Although I will say it's quite expensive. The Series X lineup is 450 for the digital one terabyte, 500, exactly the same as it's always been for the standard one terabyte disc, and $600 for this limited edition. Of course, our friends at uh, Xbox sent this over as a review unit. I don't know that they're selling any more of these because right now, if you try to buy them, they're out of stock. Maybe they'll be restocked because this is a $600 Xbox. It's $700, you can get yourself a PS5 Pro. Matt, what if I were to tell you that there's more than meets the eye with these new Xboxes? What if I were to tell you that even though it is advertised as the same Series X with a new paint job and a new SSD, it is in fact redesigned. And in what? fact, has a new chip. What? The reason why the digital edition is not on the table right now is because literally in the other room undergoing power testing as we speak, when you open it up, there are a couple of key differences. With the digital model, it's pretty much the same on the inside. At first glance, you just don't have the disk drive. When you go a little bit farther in, the motherboard has been redesigned. They've actually gotten rid of the vapor chamber. I'm not entirely sure what the cooler is, but they've got now got heat pipes, which is lighter weight and cheaper. And if you look at the motherboard, it has been simplified with a six nanometer chip. Asterisk, a bit more efficient and a bit cooler. I say that because as we're filming this again, we're currently running through the power testing, so we don't have the exact numbers. Oh, six nanometer. As opposed to seven. So the same One thing better. that PlayStation did two years ago. That is true. I came in here. Yeah. All hot and bothered. Ew. Why? I don't need to hear that. I was ready to talk about how this was the first year. PS1 on. Okay, sure. I can't talk about anything before that. There's always been 
some sort of like mid refresh, a slimmer model. I've been saying for a long time, this yeah. has been a weird generation because it throws out the playbook. All the way back in 2020, when the Series X was first being announced, yeah. I spoke with some of the engineers from Microsoft. And as they sort of projected in the future, normally what enables stuff like a slim console is the fact that chips over time get smaller, cheaper, and more power efficient. So say the Xbox One comes out with a 28 nanometer chip. And a few years later, there's a 16 nanometer chip. And it is literally better in every way. It's smaller, it's cheaper, more efficient yeah. they get to shrink it out but the difference is and they sort of foresaw this back when they were designing this that was not going to be the case anymore yes chips are going to get more smaller. law is getting harder to well it's not even like it yes the chips yeah. are smaller now yes they are more efficient but they are not getting cheaper they could tell that there were not these huge jumps which is why these chips have gone from seven to six nanometer, which seems like a very small difference. But essentially that six nanometer node is just the same seven nanometer shrink, but a little bit more efficient. That's why we've seen both Sony do it with the PS5. We've seen Xbox do it. We also saw the Steam Deck. It went from a seven to a six nanometer chip. It's essentially like as good as it gets because as soon as you go smaller than that, it becomes so much more expensive. I'll see a lot of people be like, so it's cheaper for them to make, but it still costs more. Where I want to praise them is, yeah keeping it the same price. PlayStation raised their prices. Xbox, they, they made a cheaper one, uh, like for them, they made it cheaper. So even though it's not physically smaller, it is still cheaper for Xbox to to make. It's yep. cheaper for them to ship. And it's $50 cheaper for you to buy. So it's 450 versus 500 for the digital, which is yeah. the exact same price delta as PlayStation charge for the slim with and without the disc drive. So in a world where everything's being jacked up, it's great that they are standing their ground on pricing. Sure. But it's such a weird time for them to come out and say, we're doing a new chip here. What I was just assuming is, you know what? We got the we got the Series X. We are six years, how? Four years. So four. the Xbox Series X is four years in November. What? Yeah, 2020 to 2024. Oh. <laughs> I know, it feels a long time, right? I just assumed that they'd be like, you know what? We're gonna make this a short generation and we're gonna set our, set our sights for the next Xbox. Well, it's funny you mention that. They have essentially said that without yeah. saying it. So at the Xbox showcase earlier this year, they were straight up saying, we're well underway on working on the next generation, which to me, that's not something you say if you're three or four years away. I think that's something you say when you're two years away. Which is why this is weird, because why spend the money? What's the return on the investment for this redesign? I understand they're saving money, but if they're saving money for a year. Oh, it's a couple, two, three years at least. What this tells me, is that it's more like three, four years. Sony did this like after two years of the PS4. Right. They had already, I mean, sorry, PS5, they had already redesigned. That's my point. Why would they have not done this a year ago, two years ago? I mean, they should have probably done it last year. If they're but... saying like, oh, we're getting ready for whatever's next, that just means like, seems like wasted resources. You have every chart in the world saying no one's buying an Xbox. And if they wow. are buying an Xbox, they're buying a Series S, not a Series X. Well, I'm curious to see if there's any difference. So uh, as far as I know, this is a change just to the Series X. If well, Series S starts showing up in the wild with six nanometer chips, that would be really interesting. I have not heard anything about that. It is weird though. I will say, I'll grant you, they should have said something, I feel like. Actually, no, I'm glad they didn't because I'm the one who gets to find it first. Well, if I go to a store, yeah, I see physical Xboxes oh, on the shelves. I can actually tell you about this. They've redesigned the box. So- I don't, hold, let me, let me continue a thought. I'm just saying, why the fuck did they redesign this thing if they're coming out with a new Xbox in two years? R&D went into that. They spent money to do the redesign. It's not a lot, but you're also not gonna, you're not gonna save a ton of money over the course of a year and I, a half. I bet If it's no worth one's it. buying it. No, no, I bet it's worth it. They don't have to sell that many of these Xboxes. They could be saving like 20, 30 bucks per unit with these changes. I'm just making that number up. I obviously don't know exactly the engineering and everything, but like that adds up pretty quickly. Even if you're talking about, they only sell another 5 million of these things. They did didn't redesign the whole thing. They redesigned the motherboard and they redesigned the cooler. The two which most expensive things? Yeah, but yeah, exactly, which is why they're cheaper. I understand why they did this. I'm slightly questioning why they didn't say anything about it, but because That's my point. you're not getting any extra frame rate, right? And again, we're gonna do our power testing. I'm gonna guess you're not gonna see a big difference. I think, you're gonna, take a I think you're gonna see nothing. Well, it's kind of like, remember when Nintendo did the red box switch? That was a dramatically different switch. They had a completely different yeah. chip that was like way more power efficient. I was actually buying a switch the other day on the Nintendo site and they don't actually clarify which one it is. And there's a massive difference, literally like a two yeah. hour difference in battery. So like, if Nintendo's not gonna do that, I understand why Xbox is not gonna mention that, like, oh, we're 6% faster. See, again, you think 
think of things too numbery. You forget that people are dumb orangutans. Everyone only, they just want the newest one. If I get this new one that's more efficient, I'm gonna get my extra two, three frames a second. No, I notice a difference. I. Ow. It helps me in Call of Duty doing no. this. You're trying to say people blindly just buy anything new because it's new at the end? Yeah. That's what you do with Nintendo Switch lights all the time. Because I make videos on them. No. How many Switch lights do you own personally? One. No, you don't. I have one. I have a 2017 model. My wife has an OLED and I have a Switch uh, uh, light. Mm -hmm. Not that many Switches over seven years. Three of the same console? That's weird. Okay, but hang on. But let me come back to my point about the Series X, right? For Microsoft, they're saving a moderate but substantial amount of money on these newer consoles. Would you rather have a 0% raise or a 5% raise? A little bit's a little bit, right? A 5% raise is a huge raise, Well, what dude. if it's 5% more efficient? Do <laughs> you think the engineers who designed this don't think, oh, wow, I just saved 5% off the total cost of this build by doing it like this? That took work, right? Yeah. And my point is, why? If they're saying we're go we're going full steam ahead to sure. the next generation, you're saying they don't say that kind of thing unless it's on the horizon. Yes, I agree. So if it's truly on the horizon, it's a weird look to spend any type of effort on this. Because what it does is it tells consumers... Yeah. We're not ready for the next one. 99% of people will never know that this Xbox is any different. And that's fine because it is different in a very small, nerdy way. Here's the thing, right? If you look at these Xboxes, if your big hands fill, say, hey, I'm going to spend $5 million redesigning this. And over the two, three year span that we're going to sell these things, we're going to save $10 million on the costs. That's a worthwhile trade. Everyone does it. Like you just, as you make a console for longer, but they don't do it four stuff. years in, they do it two years in. If the Series S didn't exist, this wouldn't be weird. All this says is we need to squeeze another three years out of this thing. And then... Well, they will, but, yeah. But then they're, then they're five years behind PlayStation. Because PlayStation has a pro model out now. That, well, that, that's a different conversation, that, though. But, right? but no, no, it's not a different conversation. Okay. Because everyone lumps it into the same conversation. Okay. Again, you're putting you're putting these in these nice compartmentalized. Sure, sure, like, sure. Yes, I agree with you 100% yep. that this is a more efficient, cheaper, whatever. It makes sense for Xbox yep. financially. They are looked at as the third best, worst, however you want to look at it, sure. console in a group of three. And they need to do something to to improve their PR on it. As much as I love Game Pass and stuff like that, it's not selling. I think they need to swing for the fences. When PS5, uh, PS5 Pro comes out, yeah. no one is comparing this to a PS5 anymore. They're comparing this to a PS5 Pro. This is the top of the line model I can get from Xbox. And this is the top of the line model I can get from PlayStation. And it is a vast difference between the two of them. There's still the massive stigma that Xbox sucks, PlayStation is better. This seems like such a minor. It is minor, 100%. But like, the reason why Microsoft did not announce that they have made these internal changes is because it's such a but, small but thing that no one cares. But then you're announcing it now. Because it's a difference. And it I is. found it and it's, I, I think it's a big deal. Yes. But now people are going to know about it. The Reddit pages tomorrow are going to be like, Look at this dumb thing that Xbox did. How would it be dumb when it's just slightly better? Because people are dumb. You're they just... don't you're, they don't look at it logically. Both things are logical improvements for both companies, but people compare apples to oranges all the time. Sure, sure. And that's really what companies got to fight. I agree with you 100% on this being a logical cost-saving uh huh. thing, but they need to do something and hype up the next generation like ASAP. Well, here's my prediction, right? 2025, I feel like we're going to get the first hint about the next generation. 2026, I think that the next generation Xbox, whether it be the portable and the Series X replacement, go on sale. That's my estimate. I, of course, have no knowledge whatsoever about any of this. This is just a pure sort of bit of speculation. But if it was me, that's what I would do. I would try to get the one-year jump on Sony because it seems like PS6 is going to be 2027, right? So it seems like we're three years away from that. Because remember, there were the leaks about they were going to fully redesign the Series X, right? I feel like instead of putting the engineering resources into doing a proper slim model of Series X, they did a less expensive redesign that's still basically the same thing because really there's nothing that you're really missing here compared to that besides you know a smaller chassis and instead they've gone full steam ahead on designing the next generation doing the portable xbox doing the new series x like going all out on that and i think that's a smart move right because as xbox as a brand 
and Xbox as a console evolves, getting the jump on it absolutely worked in the Xbox 360's generation. They should lean into that. In fact, they should lean into a lot of the things about the 360. Maybe not the Red Ring of Death, but almost everything else about the 360, if they can tap into a little bit of that nostalgia, they can tap into a little bit of that like, hey, remember when the Xbox was absolutely on top of the world? That's a smart move. From a strategic standpoint, they need to focus on the next generation now. What are you laughing I at? I love how like your whole th wrap up is just saying what I've been saying. No, because you just yelled it. Your lack of communication skills are not my concern now. What they need to do yep. is focus on the next generation yep. so they can say PlayStation copied us. Because right now it's Xbox copied PlayStation. And coming out with the exact same uh, upgrade that they did two years ago. I agree with that. That is the what I'm saying was a, is a weird bad move for them right now. Let us know what you think in Fair. the comments. Like, follow, subscribe. Let us know, are you getting one of these new new boys or are you sticking with your PS5 Pro 6, 7, Wi-Fi 4? Also, if you need to know, the new boxes are very different looking. So if you're looking for one of the new Xboxes, if you see the new box, you're a green boy.